Hey everybody, and welcome back to Fire Warrior. I am still Nigroth, and uh, Mr. Roroni Kenshin is still here with me. Uh, yeah, Roroni Kenshin. Let's just go with that. <laughs> um, no, no, no. Uh, oh, crap. Yeah, I forgot you. Yeah, try it, try it. <laughs> Turos can't uh, say. Turos can't say. Yes, sorry, I'm awful at names. But uh, yeah, we are still continuing on through the the Tau ship itself. We're going through the kitchen with, I guess, Tyranids a la mode here, and uh, spiky melons too. Yeah, One, I guess two and three. We fucked up the rhythm. Yeah. Synchronized explosioning. Yeah, there, well, there's actually a fourth guy. I th yeah, or. Yeah, there's just a random fourth guy that will appear behind you from whatever locked door he manifests himself from. Late to the casting call. Yeah. And then I'm, I'm still a bit perplexed that uh, the Imperium is able to set up all these, you know, turrets all over the ship. I don't even know how they're powered or how they even had time to set all this stuff up, but... Uh, science and magic. That's pretty much the answer to everything by the Imperium last I checked. Yeah, the Omnisai has blessed their machinery to just magically work with any power source. And uh, Speaking of uh, Omnisai and magic, we have pretty much the, the, the main focus of this particular drawn-out level, which is this uh, tricolored door. So, all, all the keys that, uh, you know, we normally see are now going to be conveniently located in the general area. And uh, we, we have to, you know, direct case to each one of them. Except we, we can only get one at a time, so... Well, let's do the water temple last, because that's just how it should be. Yeah. But no, I mean, it's, it's, not, it's not terribly hard. Um, you know, well, no, this game is terribly hard. It's more just tedious, especially when the twist comes at the end of the level, and it just, it kind of makes this stage even more kind of, what, what was the point? In before a mugshot of M. Night Shyamalan. Yeah. But, uh, we, we, uh, I guess we do get some pretty cool shots of, I guess this is getting close to the Tau engine. <laughs> I like that, he's just looking at it like, okay, how does this thing work again? <laughs> yeah. Also, I, I don't know if you could see it very well, but the sergeant was, I guess, kind of threatening the, the engines with his sword. I thought it was waving at us. I, I think it was, I wanted to say he was actually, like, looking at the engine itself, just, I guess, trying to motivate it to for the Imperium. But now he'll be, you know, turned around, ready to fire at us. Oh, he does shoot his gun. Yeah, if uh, if you're outside the range of his manic swinging, he will actually resort to using his pistol. And I still cannot get over the the death yell. It's, yeah, it's really drawn out. I mean, if I get my face mounted by pulse rifle fire, I think it'll be pretty abrupt. Yeah, and uh, you know we already got the key, but. You'll, uh, as we progress through the stage, we'll start to notice that there is also a nearby tech priest near every one of the uh, the sergeants that we end up having to kill. He was able to explode. He was able to uh, scream as after he exploded too. That's magic. Yeah, part. yeah. Actually, sometimes, like depending on if he's trying to run while in the middle of his death animation, that guy has kind of, no idea how to get around. Yeah, it, it'll kind of like the shield will like suck in, but still be kind of running. So it'll be kind of in mid-death animation while still trying to move and yell. And it, it's probably pretty ghastly to get sucked into the, the, the void that way. I always think of him as going like, I'll get you next time, guys. Next time. <laughs> so you think that was actually... cat. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh. Not my cat. No. Oh, I thought that. Oh, that was no. That the, was the, that, the cat that was from the inner cat. Yeah, it was the cat from Inspector Gadget. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Gotcha. Doom Got Skull it. cameo. Yeah, the another uh, new little uh, secret 
well, I don't want to say secret, but uh, I guess subtle enemy is the uh, the servitor skulls. I don't know why they would release servitor skulls to sit in the the Tau armory on the ship, but there you go. The uh, they're mostly mild annoyances. Their their guns aren't that powerful. They're just they they always kind of come in numbers and they just they're mildly hard to hit. But yeah, they're they're just flying skulls. Did they appear later on in the game? Uh, they they only appear actually in like two levels. Huh. So it's more like, uh, hey, look what we remember to put in the game. We do know the source material. Yeah, and then, well, actually, there was a there. Yeah, there's another example. Like he had already been sucked in, and out of nowhere, you hear, "My shields are failing." And he was sucked in. Uh, he, yeah, he shot him in the stomach, and he grabbed, punched his throat. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, it's it's hard to tell the anatomy in the uh, the distant future here. But yeah, here's a little. Uh, you actually can go in here and fight these guys, but uh, you can be also be a bit of an asshole and uh, irradiate them to death for the greater good. <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah, but actually, uh, there is another new enemy type in the room. Uh, you may see the the rather smart gentlemen that are just shaved heads without helmets or anything. Those are servitors. Which, uh, are you familiar with the servitors? Servitors? I thought those were the skull things that I... Well, no, those are, the, those are servo skulls. Oh. Yeah, servitors are basically brainwashed uh, criminals that were uh, taken in by the, the adeptus mechanics or the... Uh, Basically, the guys that you know control all the machinery, and anytime they need like new workers or anything, they'll just you know scoop out your brain, replace it with like a, a very base program, and just you know have you go clean toilets or press a button all day. For the emperor. Yeah. See, I, mean, I can do taglines at that too. More blood for the blood god. Door sealed. Yeah, actually, this uh, this particular door, you may be thinking. Oh, well that was, uh, you know, that was just a, a towel door messing up. Actually, no, it's foreshadowing. Mm, I thought it was just the bathroom. <laughs> no. I mean, because there was, like, some weird, stinky stuff on the ground. Yeah, I don't, uh, don't know where that weird, stinky gas might be coming from. Or, or how on earth, like, the, my grenades were being caught up on the, the dead bodies on the floor, but... Yeah, that'll happen sometimes. Hey, a clean ship is... I got nothing. <laughs> yeah, but actually, uh, we heard a... Uh, we actually heard the Admiral of the nearby Battle Barge talking for the first time. Uh, the Admiral actually has a very interesting voice actor. It's, uh, it's a British voice actor, or actor, I should say, named Brian Blessed, who, uh, I don't know if any of you have... Uh, are familiar with uh sounds like, familiar. Did, did you ever watch the Flash Gordon movie? Oh uh, yeah. Flash oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like the leader of the Birdmen had like the beard, like the very booming voice. Mm. Hey, don't remember? It's been a long time since I watched that. I learned my lesson from uh Big Trouble Little China. Just because I remember something being awesome, it might not actually be that awesome when I see it again. Oh, it was, that's always awesome. But yeah, it, he's basically this very booming, like, oh, Flash! <laughs> Just, and he, he's very underused in this game until near the end when something happens to him. But uh, it, it's pretty impressive when it does happen. But actually, we're making pretty good headway. We actually finally got the last key, and we actually finished up the secret objective by taking out the, the final tech priest who I think was busy just kind of poking at a door trying to figure out how it works in the first place. Because I'm sure all this shiny Tau technology just does not make any sense to them. Yep, yeah, 
Now let's throw signs against the wall and see what sticks. Yeah, I mean, but somehow they were able to get into like the the main engine core. Where uh, I'm sure they're trying to apply the Heisenberg's uncertainty theory to get the transporters working or something. But uh, I mean, what better way to you know get inside the energy core to stop them from blowing it up than blowing it up? Hey. It's the last thing they'll expect. Yeah. But, but uh, you know, don't know how you can put. No, 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 I just don't know how you can blow up the force fields. Well, it's the energy source for the force field. You put that. You you just put that right over it. Right in plain sight, where anybody can. You know, it's pulse energy, science. I don't know. I don't even know where he actually got the plastic explosives or if he just carries them around all the time. I mean, at least put the damn thing out of reach. I mean, try a little. Well, I don't even... I mean, honestly, the, the tech priests that are standing inside there, you know, they're just... A mo they're just watching the shiny shit. They don't even see anything going on outside. But outside of this one random tech priest that's actually outside the shield that's just... Uh, it's actually about to kill me, so I'm gonna get the hell out of there. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if you've died yet during this playthrough. No, uh, very later on I do I do include one death in one stage, and it's just because it's it's complete bullshit. But yeah, my shields are failing. Uh, but uh, yeah, we finally got the uh, the last explosive planted here. That means we can get inside and have the a very fun task of you have 10 seconds to trying to then fight about four tech priests in a very small enclosure. Eh, you'll be fine. Well, yeah, it's it's mostly because you they spoiled it by saying you die later on and not now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But also, I mean, their their AI didn't react to the walls behind them being blown up, and then. As you can see, they're not very helpful to their, their fellow tech priests. I just basically blew up one right next to that guy. And he didn't really react until I started popping him full of lead. They, uh, they... I mean, that, that's a shotgun you have, right? Yeah, yeah. I thought, huh. What? Oh, you said with the rate of fire, it takes like seven or eight shots to take out a tech priest. Well, well that, that's the... Well, I'm using the alternate fire. Ah! Oh. The alternate fire will fire like two shots at once. So you're, it's like, all right, so maybe it only takes like five shotgun shots. That's that's still a really long time with, you know, the very slow firing shotgun. Well, um, I don't know if you've even mentioned the alternate fire for a lot of these things yet. Oh, I have in other videos. All right. But, but you know, we've we've reached the end of the level, and I look, there's plot twist. Ooh. Hey. The attack on the engines was a diversion. Yeah. Sweet, a diversion. That makes this entire thing incredibly pointless. But, you know, that's the end of that level, and uh, thanks to my special guest for joining me. Hopefully you join us next time for more Fire Warrior. I know I will.